Hey everyone, welcome back to Pea Punch Beef Gaming. Uh, today I want to talk about something that, uh, well, quite frankly, is embarrassing. And probably many of you will be shaking your collective heads at the stupidity of this mistake. But I want to talk about this mistake and I want to share kind of what I'm going to do about it. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so what is the nature of this mistake? Well, recently I bought this model. It's a Stormcast Eternal Knight Relictor model. Uh, it is kind of the one of the junior uh, character models. He's pretty good overall. Uh, Lord Relictor is is um, is kind of the top tier of the Relictors, but uh, you know you got room for a knight sometimes when uh, the points are limited. So you're probably wondering why is that a mistake? Well, in and of itself, it's not a mistake. But when it becomes a mistake is when you realize you've got two of them. Uh, and you'll see here, here, this model cost me 35 bucks. Uh, $35 is not cheap. That's a lot of money uh, when you when you get down to it. And, and so I uh, was reflecting on the fact that, uh, unfortunately, this is not the first time I've made this mistake. This, is, uh, this happened to me on more than one occasion. And it's one of those things that... Um, I want to get a little bit better handle on. And, and so I've got a number of models in my collection. You can see back over my shoulder over here. You can see I've got models over there. I've got models queued up behind me. You see some space wolves. I've got models on my desk. I've got models coming out of my ears. And, and so not only am I trying to manage my collection a little bit better, but I also want to save some dollars when you get down to it. So so I was thinking about the options I've got available to us. And I want to give a shout out to my friend, Ren, uh, who turned me on to a website that I think is going to be a big help in this conversation. And today, that's really the purpose of this video is I want to go through this website and I want to explain why I think it can help. And I want to talk about um, another itch that it scratches. And, and that website's called Pile of Potential. And here in just a moment, we'll switch over to a, um, a screen grab so you can see exactly how I use my pile of potential and what this looks like. Uh, and again, I want to give a, a big shout out to Ren for turning me to this website to help kind of organize everything. The other thing I'm going to do is, uh, given that I've got two of these guys, I am going to give away uh, one of these models because I certainly don't need two in my collection. Uh, if I get to 50 subscribers, I will pick somebody at random who is a subscriber and comments in the videos below. And I'll be honest with you, I don't have a ton of people who subscribe. Uh, so if you comment and subscribe, you've got pretty good odds at, at getting a free $35 model. I'll cover the cost of getting it out to you too, shipping. Uh, all you need to do is make sure you like, subscribe, and comment in the videos below. And as soon as I get to 50 subscribers, I'll send out a Night Relictor uh, to whoever is the winner. So with that, uh, why don't we go ahead and cut over to the pile of potential. All right, everybody. Uh, here is the website. It's called Pile of Potential. You can see the browser is already filling it in. You go to Google. It is pileofpotential.com. You click on it. And this is the landing page that you can take a look at. And you can go to edit my pile potential, kind of talks about um, what they're about, how they got there, track, edit, share, all of that good stuff is listed right here. I already have an account created, so let me show you uh, my pile of potential. This is the, the landing page of your stuff specifically. And what you'll see here is you can add a project or add a category. The categories, like I've got superhero, sci-fi, fantasy, historical, steampunk, modern, post-apocalyptic. I've got an uncategorized. And when you create a new project, you hit add project, it gets dumped here into the uncategorized area. I recently bought some Adeptus Custodes models. Um, why do I need some Custodes? Well, because uh, like everybody, I have, um, uh, I don't know, big eyes for these models and uh, end up buying stuff that I don't know if I'll ever get to, but uh, my intent is to do so. Uh, and when you build this list, or, or you can click on it to take a look, you can see what is in your list. I've got the Veritas Predators, Sisters of Silence, so on and so forth. You can see your quantities. This is based on units and whether they're uh, built, 
primed, painted, and based. And you can add units as well. Uh, but I don't want to show you them specifically. What I want to do is I want to add something so you can see how this works. But before we get there, I'm just going to show you can drag these models up to the category that you want. So I just move the custodes into my sci-fi category along with all my other sci-fi projects that I've got going on. All right, so for today, I am going to do a new project. And this project is for my new Blood Bowl team that I have recently put together. And the Blood Bowl team is the Noriska Rampagers. Uh, brand new team. Um, I picked them up because I'm a fan of the the Norse from way back when, when the pewter figures were around. And so I, th I thought, what the heck, I'm going to go ahead and pick these up. So here's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to go add a project. You name your project, and this one's going to be Norse Blood Bowl Team. Uh, I'm going to make it public. I don't mind showing folks what I've got. And then you can't hit enter unless it goes away. If you hit enter in your keyboard, it, it disappears. So this is kind of one flaw of the program here. Uh, so what you have to get used to doing is pushing the button. So fortunately, my web browser remembers what I named it. And then I hit create project. And you, what you see here, if you scroll down, is you've got it under the uncategorized. I could change the name of the team here. I could change the visibility. And then I could also, if I wanted to, I could change the categories. If I didn't care about model count, I could click that out. If I want points or how much they cost or purchased, I could, I could click and add all of that good stuff. And then I just hit update settings. I can also put in project notes there too, if I'm interested. But where I want to start with on the functionality is first going to be um, by entering in uh, my units. Uh, so what I'm going to start with here is my linemen. So these guys are called Norse Raider linemen. And normally this is a unit name. So if I just had a unit, say I was talking about Space Marines and I had a tactical squad, I would just put uh, Space Marine tactical squad and then I would put one here. And if I had them built, and I do, I'll click built. I also have them primed. So they're primed, they're not painted, they're not based yet. And you can hover over each of these icons to see. And you can add the unit. It might just take a second, but then boom, it pops down. You'll notice um, right now, this isn't a unit. This is actually the number of linemen I have. And the box set comes with six. So I can either hit the up arrows like this and change that number, or I can just highlight it change it and then what you have to do is you have to go down here to save changes to to make that work so you'll click on the save changes um, and then you're in business when you do that um, and then the next thing I've got is two beer bores I'm going to add that unit and then I'm going to go to Norse, Norse. Uh, Berserkers, lots of E's and R's in that. And I've got two of those guys. Um, they are actually painted, so we're going to add that unit. Or not painted, but primed and built. And then I've got Ulf Werners. Those are like the... Um, the like the wolfen models go the feral blood bowl guys uh, they're also built and primed and then i've got my uh, valkyries sorry the spelling is just a little bit odd too they are built and they are primed and they add the unit and then it's captured all right there. So we've got everything kind of lined up and in a good spot for what we need. Uh, then I can drag this, and I think this is kind of a, a fantasy type game. So I'll just drag this up to my fantasy section. And you can change this at any time if you're like, oh, Guild Ball is more historical. I can move it there. Uh, for the record, I don't think it's more historical, but there you are. Now, let me show you what it looks like as you start to progress. So I'm going to go to my Marvel Crisis Protocol. And this is going to load here. In just a second. 
There we are. So you can see my giant list of crisis protocol. Um, as you start to make progress on this, I, I don't keep track of it based on points, but it is keeping track of it based on total models. And then models complete for me. So uh, they've got, it says I only have three models painted or approximately 4.3% of my collection. I actually have quite a bit more done than that, but they're just not a part of this since I recently started using this program. Anytime you can update, you know, if your taco truck was um, built and primed, you can click this and then update your models. But it keeps everything, um, everything categorized and you can take a look at it on the website. The one thing I do want to note, um, and maybe this is the second area of improvement I would be looking for, is um, there is no app for this. So you've got to go into your web browser on your phone or your iPad or your tablet or computer, whatever you've got, to take a look at this. Um, but it's easy enough to use. It's, it's not a big deal. And then, of course, it, you know, no enter functionality. You have to click the buttons, so that can be kind of laborious. You can also share, and I'll do this in the video. I can, you can right-click this and add it as a link, and people can take a look at it. And then people can see um, what you have in terms of models and, and get an idea of what you've got uh, going on, so you can take a look at your buddies and see how they're progressing. But overall, I think this is a, a pretty slick website. So that's Pile of Potential. Uh, I think uh, it's a pretty slick website. I even like the fact that they don't call it a pile of shame or a pile of unpainted miniatures or some other euphemism that makes you feel bad about how much money you've spent on your hobby overall. I like how they call it a pile of potential and it helps you kind of get organized and figure out what you want to paint, which is which is super slick. Uh, I, I am a big fan of using it. In fact, I've recently moved my entire collection in there. And so that's uh, that's my giant pile of potential. And I thought maybe this might help benefit some of the other gamers out there. So again, I uh, want to remind you all that I'm going to give away one of these models, $35 model, once I get to 50 subscribers. Uh, you just need to like, subscribe, and comment below, and you'll be eligible to win. I'm not putting a time limit on it. I'm looking to get to 50 subscribers. I'm currently at 43, so it's not a big reach. So let your friends know, whatever it takes, um, and we'll get it up there. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. Uh, I think the, the next video I'm likely going to do is um, I take a look at the Warhammer Age of Sigmar Seasons of Thondia uh, Battle Tome. It's got both the Kron Spine in there and a new Path to Glory uh, set of rules. Or I shouldn't say new, it adds on to the Path to Glory rules, both of which I think will be super slick. Anyway, thanks for signing in. I appreciate your help. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you next time. Take care.